Ancestors hacked bitterly at sugarcane. We are the sweet never tasted by their sweat-soaked tongues. They begged for us to be here, never knowing who or what we'd become. We are their echoing elegy perpetually sung. We are their echoing elegy. You gotta move, Makai. You got mountains to climb, skies to fly, seas to seize, seized. My son Makai is 14. Three months before he was born, my grandfather died. Three times in one night. My grandfather flatlined and revived. He slipped into a coma twice. The last time he came back bragging about this man-child that he just met in the after death, after which his word became flesh, became sacred text. The next testament, my first breath, my first born, a boy. And man, he looked just like my granddad. They recently met inside of a revelation while granddad was doing orbital revolutions around his own life. The last time he was confronted at a crossroads by my son Makai, of blood and bone and sacrifice, sanctified, my granddad said, I cannot wait for you to meet your son. For the first time, I really understood where the old man was coming from. I believe in him. I must. There's a race to be run, our folks are losing. Past is prologue, our epicenter is an ancestor's epilogue, an epithet. If we ain't eased that ancestor's burden yet, he used his great-grandfather's death as a scroll to scribe a new scripture, whisked a man back to life with unborn whisper. Son, do you know who you are? An ascendant descendant deciphered from stars intone the indescribable like a shadow my son we are men bury nothing but bones cry rivers of tears deeply we run a race to be won a race to be won guided like harriet with visions of sugar plum skinned hung thin strange fruit our roots reach deep we men are men i'm men i mean your dean your duty your destiny to shadow the I send it, send it, decipher in tone, in tone, the indescribable like a shadow, my son. I know you must move because of the way you move me. Your destiny to move like the way you move me. I know you must move because of the way you. way should be in young people's eyes. Public schools should be the wombs. Public schools are often the tombs for alternative thought. The status quo is bought and paid for at the level of primary education. Adjacent cubicle is as far as many of our young people are trained to see. So savage these inequalities, these unwritten rules seared in blue blood marrow, it harrows the heart, 
precision with which it clicks silent in our minds. Tell me, Dr. King, where in speeches of dreams might I find glimpses of these sons of former slaves and slave owners sitting in corner offices of gold dome buildings? They read reports of public school structures with asbestos in the ceilings. Overcrowded classrooms with undercompensated educators. Elevators touch three floors. No way, no chance, do dirt. I'm flirting with the words of a masterful dreamer, attempting to coax answers out of the fine print. A hint of remorse does not exist. We mint his image and miss his message. New Jack militants scorn him as a Mick activist. Every city in America bears a street with his name. The politicians mastered this game of nominative progress. Martin Luther King Boulevard, always home to the segregated projects. Somebody gotta see the irony. Ringing replete with the echo of August 63, ringing 41 shots deep into the heart of maniacal police. So savage these inequalities. We used to be angry at injustice, now we just irritated with bureaucracy. Dr. King, I've read the speeches, heard them all. We will not be satisfied till justice rolls down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. Where in speeches of dreams might I see at last free? Resources denied to those in need, but supplied to the highest bidder. It violates constitutional democracy, falls right in line with national hypocrisy. Dare to dream regal, we dangle before these kids. Mass hypnosis, drones honed in to the media blitz. Convinced the bling bling is the sound of freedom ring. King, did you see this moment while standing on your mountaintop? A mass movement to put 14 year olds on lock with grown men? We spend extraordinary time mediating injustice. Thrust this apartheid at our young disguised as schools. No tools to thrive, only the fit survive. Some sling rocks, some rock mics. The cops is out like Gestapo in the night, herding up the new labor force with the all-seeing eye. So for whom America the beautiful? Spacious skies merely mock the blackbird with crippled wing. We slice the blackbird's throat and ask her why she does not sing. No one remembers there was no head start, no exposure to art of the wrong class, of the wrong cast. Placed on the lower track at six years young, ain't recovered since. We ask the blackbird why she will not fly while the law walking off with her wings. So savage these only see equality in 63 black and white dreams. Is it so savage to dream at last free in technicolor prism tinged in the right to be? Is it so savage to dream at last free? To dream at last free? Dream at last! Free at last! Free at last! Thank you.